Hi there YouTube and welcome to Tech Travers. Valve has been working hard lately and I'm happy to see that we're offered a new update already. If you're in the stable update channel, you'll notice that you have a new update available that has previously only been available in the beta and preview update channels. Let's go through what these updates includes. The update includes temporarily reverted RDR2 VRAM workaround to pre 3.3 behavior for improved performance, meaning that the bugs that appeared after SteamOS 3.3 have now been reverted and fixed. They have fixed an issue causing random stutters. They also fixed an issue causing performance drops when a UI element appeared on the screen if the performance HUD was enabled. And they also specifically improved performance for Forza Horizon 5. Other than that, they've also made a big update for those of you who are in the beta or preview channels. It's a Steam Deck client beta update that includes new features that are still being tested. Among other things, they have been focusing on Steam input. Now they allow allow users to remove community layouts they have created. So users who have this config selected won't lose it but it will no longer be listed in the community layouts. They have removed a check which would only show your layouts in your personal layouts, even when shared with the community. It was causing users to think their configuration has not been exported. They fixed a bug on saving configurations where the controller type could attempt to use a cached value which was incorrect, causing the layout controller type to appear to be incorrect correct. They have changed on-screen keyboard to be on button release instead of press to resolve some issues with focus on the desktop window. They've also added a shared layout preview of layouts which shows a layout and allows it to be optionally assigned. So if the user clicks on the Steam URL link to a config via Steam Chat for example while in game mode this will actually be shown. Coming over from the main Steam client is the added support for Nintendo Joy-Cons. And for all the first person shooter fans out there there is an improved flick stick mode. And other than this they've added a discovery queue to home screen under the recommended tab. Your Steam Deck will no longer show a Steam Cloud Sync error notification when installing a game and they have fixed an issue where a 2.9 GB read-only library is displayed when the micro SD card is unmounted manually and the resolution setting picker is now available for non-Steam app properties as well. And finally, here is a sneak peek on what we get in SteamOS 3.4. A Valve employee and SteamOS developer teased this on Twitter. The update is supposed to include an update to the Arch Linux packaging base that SteamOS uses and why is this important? Important. It means that practically every bit of the software behind the scenes will probably be upgraded, including graphical drivers, the Linux kernel and more. That's been it for this video, let me know what you think of the things I have gone through, are you happy to see any specific update, are you still waiting on something? Personally I think the Arch base update we'll see in a future update is gonna be amazing for overall performance. Thanks for sitting through this brief video of the latest updates for Steam OS. Thanks for liking my videos, commenting and engaging. It really means everything to me. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.